Welcome to Support This TV. I am AKA Bands. And damn it, boy, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you can always know when I'm dropping these vids. Now let's get it. Yeah, and, 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 and without even hating, knowing the dumb shit the young nigga said, I still scream free Kodak. Because you got a lot of niggas around him that ciphering up all his motherfucking fame. They're siphoning up all his wealth. They're siphoning up all the weed. And that's why the crackers ran in the man's house. Because he got the wrong niggas around him. Y'all niggas stop car hopping. You niggas stop click bopping. Stop car hopping and click bopping. And stop hoe saving, nigga. You can't kick no dick out them hoes' mouth and out their pass, nigga. Free that nigga Kodak. Because he ain't know no better. Young nigga. No, young nigga don't know no better. Y'all seen the young nigga talk, talk that shit, but at the same time, I know he's a, a young nigga, and I know ain't nobody raised him right, and all the niggas around him don't have genuine love for him. For those of you out there who wondering why Trick Daddy look like that, Trick Daddy got lupus. For those of you wondering why Trick Daddy is in the kitchen, Trick Daddy is like a hood shelf. That nigga be cooking his ass off. But what he said about Kodak Black... I agree with him, man. Um, when I see Kodak Black say certain things, do certain things, like when he was talking about Wayne, like when he was talking about not dating dark-skinned women, you know, um, him saying he the hottest, realest thing out of Florida, I look at those things as just being young and just saying what was on your mind at the time, not really thinking this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Kodak Black being real young, making all this money, you know, you know, sometimes you're just going to say shit. It may not make a lot of sense. Or say shit is going to come off cocky. You know what I'm saying? Because you're feeling yourself. It happens sometimes. You know what I'm saying? At some point, rather you, you know, don't want to hit you a lick, got you a big-ass tax check. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck your bad bitch. You might be feeling yourself a little bit. Now, imagine yourself being a young man, you know. Can buy anything you want. You know? Two, three years ago, you couldn't buy shit. You're going to be feeling yourself a little bit. So I think that what Kodak Black be going through, man. Now, as far as the people around him, I don't know nothing about the people around him. I know some of these people's family. What I say is this right here, man. When it comes to losing stuff, they ain't got nothing to lose. So they not going to be cautious as much as Kodak Black should be cautious because he the one got everything to lose. So that's how I feel about the people around him. But let me know how y'all feel about the whole Kodak Black situation, man. I hope this is a lesson learned from Kodak, man. He don't have so many trials and tribulations, man. Eventually, this guy gonna have to get it together and leave it alone, man. But I am, a.k.a. Bands, this is Support This TV. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.